Welcome back. Well, welcome back, my shy little pandas. Oh. Uh, my next guest is a, a terrific young actress. You know her from uh, Guess Who, from Pirates of the Caribbean. She's got a new movie, Constellation, which is in theatres now. Take a look at this. Daddy is here right now, alive with both of us. You're not the only one in the world, Rosa. I know that. Okay, well, he's crying out for our support. When are you going to wake up about this man? Like, he doesn't need anybody. Yes, he needs us. He needs both of us. You don't even know him. How are you going to... How can I you possibly do know him? Okay, fine. If him. I don't know him, I want to get to know him. And I want us to get to know him together. Well, right now, I want to mourn for somebody that I really, really care for. That was there. That was there. That was there for me. Please welcome Zoe Saldana, everybody. Welcome, Zoe. How are you? You look lovely. I love your thank outfit. Thank you, thank you. I love your red belt. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's bold, it's red. It's, yeah. It makes me sit straight. Too. Does it, oh, I need one of those, like a girdle or something. It, it kind of feels like it, yeah. Really? I, I don't know what a girdle feels like. You can't. <laughs> Not from the inside, anyway, obviously. I, uh, you know. Now, how are you? You all right? Did you have a nice time shooting the Pirates of the Caribbean? Were you down there in I the... did, I did. It, yeah. it, was, it was wonderful. It wasn't so cool. We were like one hour out to sea, and they were just feeding us warm tuna fish sandwiches at 120 degree weather. No, that'd be nasty. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that why you slapped Johnny Depp in the film? You actually slap him in the there, film? There was a lot of passion there, yeah. Really? <laughs> was that for, that's for the tuna fish, Mr. Yeah. Movie Star? <laughs> that do you, was an do you honor, like actually, piracy? You're a big pirate him. fan? I am, actually. I, I do consider them, like everybody has said, that they were the rock stars of their era. But once you really think about that concept, they weren't the most kissable and lovable people. I mean, I mean, they were they were out in sea, seldomly showered, bad tea. Sounding good to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they were probably a bit, but uh, kind of smelly. Yeah, and I'm yeah, sort yeah. of like a hygiene freak, so. Yeah, where where are you from? I'm from New York, from Queens. Right. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. I know you, uh, don't your, your, you have the uh, family background that's quite weird. You grew up in Queens and in the oh, Dominican yes. Republic? Yes, well? I, I have I my mom. I know nothing about the Dominican Republic. What's well, that like? The, one, the things that you need to know about Dominican Republic is that it's wonderful. Right. The right. weather is absolutely gorgeous. You are no more than 15 minutes away from the beach wherever you go. Small country then. Great beer, great right. women, and uh, great music. You, do you work Pretty for the like Dominican Republic? Pretty much Scotland, right? Yeah. <laughs> Scotland, I guess, in many ways. It's Except very for the sad. weather, right? Yeah, right. It's the, well, yeah, and some other stuff. Uh, the, uh, so, did you spend uh, half of your time there and then came here when you were a teenager? Or no, what? no, no. I was born in New York and I lived there till I was 10. Right. And then my mother sent my sisters and I to boarding school for seven years. And that was pretty wonderful because usually, like, when you do something mischievous here in the States, nobody really cares, especially in New York City. They have mm. so many kids in the classroom that you can't even remember, but right. when you do something mischievous in Dominican Republic, they just tell you to go home and then you end up at the beach surfing. Really? So it's not that bad. <laughs> what, would, what, would you, uh, what would you call mischievous? Uh, things like, oh dear, depends. No, that's depends right. what grade. I, I, <laughs> well, okay, so you're about, you, you were there from, from you were 10 to you were 17? Yeah. 17. Se oh, God. Shut up. Um, <laughs> More like leaving school, maybe having a mini skirt underneath your, the uniform. That's all working. What yeah. about the? Uh, <laughs> what about the, the? When you go to the beach, are you a surfer? Or are you a beach bum? No, kind of I thing? was more of the cheerleader that watched the guys at surf and just like praised them and kind of you know. Was, <laughs> kind yeah. of what? Yeah. Kind of did that. Look yeah. at me. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. I kept the beer cold. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> and you're a, a dancer as well, is that yes, right? Yes, I was a classical dancer for 10, 10, 11 years. What is classical? Ballet? Yeah. Oh, right. Can you do that thing on your toes? Yes, I did all that on right. the point shoes Does that make your toes curl under when you get older? Actually, your toes, your toes shrink. Really? The bones. Or, or maybe they just don't grow. But when you see dancers, and they actually praise it, the, the, the uglier your feet, the better dancer you are. That's I must be a fantastic it. dancer, <laughs> and I just don't know about it. My feet are horrendous. Yeah. But unfortunately, my feet are very large. Really? Yes. <laughs> 
enormous. enormous Certain place. places that might not be a bad thing. Oh, well, you know, it's good when you're on the beach and nobody's got water skis, you know, then yeah. you can, you know, it's fine. So tell me a little bit about the movie you, you've done as well. What's this? Uh, Constellation. Constellation, yeah. It's a wonderful film. Um, it's basically, I, I think it's just the concept, the principle of, of keeping a family together, even after a crisis, and families that grow apart through trauma can also come together through another one and um, and it's it, it's a feel good movie and, and what I love about it it's it's the just the, um, the representation of an African American family in the south right. and um, it, really classy and really beautiful good well I look forward to seeing it it's very nice to meet you a lovely Thank woman Zoe Saldana everybody we were right back Jeff Jeff and you can back Sensational. Thank you. So I haven't much. seen you Thank in such you. a long time. It's like been five years or something. Yes, it has. Since yes. you've been on this show. What's been going on? Anything? Um has your career worked out at all? No, no, not oh, much. My goodness, I you didn't. became Uhuru. Yes, yes. I know. And I was blue. Yeah, and the and the uh, the avatar thing. Yes. Yeah, I crapped my pants when I saw that. You did. It was a, like it's a, we're a good. Yeah, no, no, in, in a beautiful way, you know. Uh, okay. no. Wait a minute, where's? Oh, that's the fire. Yeah. Where yeah. you were warming your testicle. Yeah. We used the same technology for that fire as you used in Avatar, actually. We did. Oh, nice. As you can nice. see, it's a very 3D effect. It's all the effects. It's not really there. I right. Exactly. That must be very difficult making all that. Would you just? They could cover you in wires and no 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 in theory it it, it would seem it, it it feels difficult but in reality I, I was just wearing like a velcro suit that felt like a onesie okay and uh seriously <laughs> and it had sorry i got a bit carried away there and i was like okay <laughs> i was like mm, wearing a onesie <laughs> No, but it had these little dots, and then and then you just have green dots on your face, and and you act, and and uh, and then everything is created afterwards uh, uh, in the world that uh, virtual you, world. Have you found your life uh, changed a great deal? You've become immensely famous in the past since the last time I talked to you. I mean, do you find it difficult going around the world? The people like, hey, Avatar Lady or Uhuru, like, because now the Trekkies will be after you all the time. Uh you know, it's, it's sometimes, sometimes it is, and sometimes it totally is, and sometimes I'll just be walking down the street and I'll have people go, hey, Tandy Newton! <laughs> so it's sort of like, oh my God, your show on TV is amazing, Miss Washington. So it's sort of like you feel... <laughs> I get, you. I, get you with, I get that with, I get that with groundskeeper Willie. <laughs> Who's that? Love you on The Simpsons, man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, aye, oh, aye. Yeah, no. <laughs> So, uh, what have you been up to then? You've been making films. Have you been around anywhere? Did you go anywhere for your vacations? Um, or make movies, even? No, I've been, I've been working. Finland, for example? No, something. no, I wasn't. Been? Sorry, I went to laugh. And what, my, my button just popped out, but... Wow. I'm good. No, it's one of those little snap thingies. Oh, yes, it is. Totally. I can see from here, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, no. I'm very, very creepy. I like that. You've never been... Creepy's good on you. Really? Yeah. He's really good on you. It's not something I say every day. All right. Yeah. In that case, in that case, I must get a cape and smell my finger. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty creepy. Yeah, well, let's hold off on that. Oh, okay. That, that would All be right. No, no, what was your question? Again? Have you ever been to Finland? It's no, Finnish Independence no, Day. I've not been to, oh, happy Independence Day, Finland. Um, I have not been there. <laughs> I don't mean to sound so sad. I know it's supposed to be like... No, that's what they like in Finland. It's like, yes, thank you. <laughs> no, but I did... I, I'm a huge fan of Anthony Bourdain. Yeah, he's not so from I've, Finland. 
I've seen his show No Reservation. Right. Which is, right. you know, some other show now. Now he's like a news anchor on CNN, so I think he's boring. But, um... <laughs> Anthony Bourdain is a news anchor now? Is he? No. No, he's he? not? I think he's still doing some... He, like, he's just... He's moved away from just cooking and, and he's become a sort of essayist. Well, wait a minute. Remember his show No Reservation? Mm, I love that show. We'll Finland in a second, but we have to address how excited we are that it's it's the Independence Day of Finland. Right, absolutely. But, um, <laughs> he, he left No Reservations. Where is he now? He's on CNN. But I thought that whoever goes on CNN is just there to report intelligent, boring news. Right, right, right. <laughs> Which where, I should be watching yeah, every no. morning, but I don't. No, no, I, no it's, I oh. see where you're going, so... Uh, the, but and is it the same show? Does he have the same show right now on CNN? I, did he go to Finland? Is this, is this taking yes, us to Finland? Yes. All right, all right, Thank let's you. See. You did well. No, you thank brought you. brought it back I... to Finland. Okay. Um, <laughs> so he went to Finland. It was very, very cold, I believe. And he went to one of those spas where they they did like they did those suck the sucking oh, cups. Oh, the on cups back. thing. Well, you have had but that. No, no, but they had like a butcher knife and they were like stabbing him and he kept bleeding everywhere. That's not. And they, uh, were, that's and not they relaxing. put the cups on to suction all the toxins, but I I feel like it was sort of like contradicting what he was doing afterwards because he was drinking tons of vodka afterwards. <laughs> So well, you've got, to re you've got to replace the toxins that you lost <laughs> during the, uh, the brutal stabbing slash... Right, I forgot. I forgot vodka has, like, enough electrolytes like coconut water. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if I'd have known that, I'd never have stopped drinking it. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, uh, oh, I, so, do you do that? Do you go and get, uh, like, suction cups on you and stuff? I've never done it, but I've been very curious to do it. Acupuncture's good. Have you ever done that? Yes, That's I have. That's awesome. I have. I have. I, and I've, I've had things kept in my ear or, or by my elbow. What things? Like little, little needles, and they just put, like, a little, a little bandage, and you, 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 you're supposed to keep it, a little bandage, and you're supposed to keep it on for, like, three or four days. Really? Yes. And I've had it done, like, on, by my ear, like, around here. And it does nothing because all all I kept doing I was I was doing a movie in New York and I was I remember just walking and waiting for the for the traffic light to change and it just kept pressing on it really hard and I got infected. Well, that's and then you pour vodka on it and it cleans right up. I think so. There's enough yeah. electrolytes to hydrate that wound. So, so you've never go. been to Finland, eh? No, but I would want to go. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's to... calling me with its, its icy beauty. <laughs> Have you been to Europe? Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, you must I was no. I was just in England for five months shooting a movie there, Ooh. and I I, re I love Europe, but I've yes. never been to Scotland. And th those are one of the countries that I've been wanting to go to. What part of England? For were you? Uh, uh, London. I was in London, Very and I nice. was working in. Uh, I, I had been to Somerset to Bath. Oh, Bath's lovely. It's lovely. It's very nice. Stonehenge. Oh, Stonehenge. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was really Stonehenge, nice. Stonehenge, tiny little big dude. Yeah. I've eaten enough fish and chips to... to I'm fish and chipped out How can you look? Years. What fish and chips were you eating? I'll eat them. Every single joint. I was on a quest to You had the joints, best. too? <laughs> so, what happens is... Let me get this straight. You spark up a big one, you get a big fatty no! going, and then you go for fish and chips. That's like being in love. All right, it's time for fish and chips. No, no, I'm a foodie, and I'm very, I'm very curious about food. So to me, like even small things like French fries, I've never really had French fries with like malt vinegar. So that those are things that I'm curious to Ooh. to have. So well, have my brother-in-law is is a brummy. Right. He's from. Wait, the button again. Just All right. Snapping. <laughs> Hold on a second. A brummy is someone from Birmingham. Oh, Birmingham, Birmingham. Uh, England. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> sorry. So he cooks, you know, whenever he makes fish and chips or steak and chips, he, he puts malt vinegar, and that was something that was very different for me. So I, I like, which is why I like Anthony Bourdain. I used to like watching No Reservations, which is why I heard about Finland. Oh, I see, yes. And now, see, I'm here. I'm right yeah. here. Ooh, ooh, very, very quickly. Very quickly, because we're out of time, but... No, hey, no, we have I to know talk that, about Glass I know about that's Aiden. what I'm going to say. Uh, we're out of time, but wow, that movie seems very interesting, the one you're oh, in. Oh, it is, yes. it is. What movie? The one you're in with oh, Christian yeah. Bale. Out of the Furnace, amazing. Yes, it's yes. beautiful. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm, for one, looking forward to seeing it again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you saw it? Yeah. <laughs> I you haven't seen I it. I saw it on Thursday. When? What Thursday? Thanksgiving? Th no, thir Thursday of this week. <laughs> You're gonna see it this Thursday?
I'm about to grab your tie in my room. Uh, it's like that, everybody. We're right. You look great. What, what's going on? What's going on with you? Um, I don't know. Yeah, don't it's know. Uh, wow. It's uh, <laughs> not long now. No, I mean, I still, I still have a ways to go. We have like maybe I don't know, like eight more weeks or all something. All right. Or how how are you weeks. feeling? You all right? Yeah, yeah. I feel great. You look so beautiful. It really. I'm hungry all the time. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, no, help yourself. Um, this is like really good. Yeah, they're ribs. Yeah, you can have them if you want. You want a little, yeah. Uh, you need a napkin? Oh my god, they're warm. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, I, well, you know, I've been around pregnant women before. Uh, you have? Yes, yes, ma'am. Um, there you go. Thank right. you. Don't get the. Oh my go. god. Yeah. Would it look really obnoxious if I just like grab the rib and I just. Oh, you're fine. Nothing makes me happier than to see like a pregnant woman eat. Well, especially I, it, in LA. It makes me happy. I, seeing a woman eat in LA is, is quite a thing to say. That. <laughs> but uh, That's true. yeah, you know, it's like oh, I'm just having juice. I know. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, not, I'm not the salad. I was never you. the salad. Type, and you mustn't no. do that right now. I mean, you. Look you at gotta... me. I'm like, why am I wearing this here? Well, you know, it's for your hands, and in case you, you get snacky it's again. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I've started being a, a, a vegetarian like three weeks now. So Dang. I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh man, that looks so good. <laughs> Do you, are, you, are you still having like those cravings? Nah, no, actually, no. The first couple of weeks though I did. Have you ever done it? I have. I, for one period, like for one season, I lost the taste of meat. Yeah. So I was just having like lentils and quinoa. That's kind of what I'm doing. Yeah, but yeah. then it's like there was a bad night where I had a little too much to drink and I ended up at in and out <laughs> Yeah. See that? If that happens with me, if there's a bad night and I have something to drink, I'll end up at in and you ain't coming out for a while. <laughs> well, that's actually for a pregnant woman, that's very flattering, I have to say. Well, because it's just, people think that they're not supposed to compliment pregnant women. No, and, I think that's like, the safest time. It is? Yeah. It is, right? Yeah, that's the best time. Like, just heap them on, heap them on. The last, the, 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 the best thing a pregnant woman can hear is the word sexy. It's like, oh, you think I'm sexy? Yes, I'm sexy. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you've got to be careful, though. It's got to be like, it's got to be like the dad that's saying that. You can't be just like <laughs> some random dude coming up going, hey, you're pregnant, let's get it on. I mean, that's... <laughs> No, that's weird. That that's would be weird. like. That but I mean, like, oh my God, you look so hot and beautiful. Usually, I'm sort of like such an activist and women's rights and everything. I'm like, excuse me, do not objectify me or whatever. But now that I'm pregnant, yeah, I'm kind of like itching for like sexy comments, like compliments. Well, not, not getting picked up because my husband will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> But, like, you know, your wife is looking really hot. Like, yeah, your wife like is that. looking really hot. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, though. I gotta be honest. If, if we are on the subject, it, this is not the first time it's happened. Your wife has looked really hot for a while. <laughs> As you are well aware, sir. I like that. No, it's true. Well, that's I good. I like that. Stop more, please. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> So, have you any cravings or anything, or what? Um, no, just ribs, not at just all. meat, just ribs, and actually, you'd be surprised. I, I'm just hungry. Like I, I, and it feels good. Food just tastes so delicious. Yeah, help yourself. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> it's really good. Cause you no, trick that's... yourself. Working in Hollywood, you trick yourself going that burger's disgusting, that burger's awful. But now that you're pregnant, you're like, I can eat all this together at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, like many people pickle, in the world... I can have the uh, pickle with the donut. Yeah. 
And it you will probably could, be like life-changing. Put the pickle in the donut hole and then... <laughs> Just, it might be know. weird if I do it on camera. What the hell? You're, you're pregnant. It doesn't matter. You, can, you do anything you want. You can, like, wake him up in the middle of the night and go, I gotta have a donut. I gotta have a donut. He's like, yeah, baby, I love you. I'll take the donut. I have not been doing that, though. Well, in the middle you... of the night, I don't wake up. Like, well, you've got to be waking up. I've been watching a lot of crime shows, though. I don't know why. <laughs> Watch, like murder mysteries like I have to and I, I'm solving the case and it's like at two o'clock in the morning because that's one of the gifts of being pregnant sometimes you just can't sleep yeah wait until the kid arrives oh, I know. <laughs> so I find myself watching like 48 hour mystery or or you know or, oh, or dateline maybe... with Lester Holt yeah, I'm yeah. Like, I love it well, well... and I just I, I my husband wakes up and I'm just like he totally did it she did it what one this show is on in the middle of the night Kind of. Okay, I'm going to watch no, you. No, no, no. You can watch If you talk about me, I'll watch you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so loud. You're really enjoying this, aren't you? I am, I am. Oh, no, it's good. Oh, yeah, the movie looks good. You like it? Yeah, yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely. Talks about, like, the celebration of life. And yep. Guillermo del Toro, like, godfathering this movie is really, really awesome. Yeah, uh, he's a talented man. Yeah. He's been here many times. And I, it's, it's, and I have to say thank you, Fox, for supporting us Mexicans. It feels really good. Yeah. <laughs> and I have to say... I'm Scottish people, uh, Fox, thanks. <laughs> Can... What, it, what do we call that? What, what, what do we call what? The this? blue... Oh, my God, my niece will kill me. Oh, that I don't know. This? Oh, my God. Can, yeah. you just, can I just hold it up yeah, so yeah, that yeah, my yeah. niece thinks I'm cool again? Yeah. Look, Kayla. It's a TARDIS. <laughs> Sometimes I feel you just come to this show just for your own amusement. I, I, I find your like, task I... very amusing. No, it's just, it's heartbreaking because now that I'm getting ready to, to start a family, I'm looking forward to being absolutely needed by, by children, you know? Oh, yeah. Because yeah. my Good niece is it. now 11. Yeah. And we're just not cool. We're not cool I've got a, I've got a son who's 13. Are you still, are you cool? No, nothing you say, nothing. Everything. If I say, like, what did you learn at school? He's like, mm, I learned, how about I learned mind your own business? How about I learned that? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. It's like, oh, please knock when you enter my room. Hey, you want to go catch a movie? Meh. <laughs> you, you're the aunt to a clown? We don't even get a no. But she's a Hoovian, so that's, you well, know, no, I, I like we try the... to bribe her with that. Like, you know we're going to come the... in and paint her room. And you know everything. the guy who plays the doctor now, though, in Doctor Who? She knows all their names. Well, this guy and I, he's one of my oldest friends. I've known But he's this... Scottish, too, right? Well, yes, we... <laughs> it's, like, it's like Mexico. We all know each other. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> we I have to take a break. Fun. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Zoe Saldana. We'll be right back. Here. She's having some pregnancy cravings. Uh, what that, is that? I think it's a, a brain and chocolate. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a, it's a popcorn, I think, uh, inside oh my, a chocolate. Can thing. I take this with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want me to put it yes. in? Yes. Are you kidding me? Is that pizza warm? Uh, <laughs> yeah, th I think so. Oh, oh yeah, look. Oh. It's like a New York slice, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's so good. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Well, uh, I did. Anyway, we're out. Uh, uh, we're, we're, we're out of time. But good news. Let's distribute this fine American food amongst yes. the hobos of the studio audience. Yes.